Well, that is an interesting piece of uranium we've got there. Uh, Michael's Tech Center. Interesting name. But, um, uh, yeah, I got a couple of them myself from United Nuclear. That is some straight up gumite that you have right there. Notice the brown and everything with the little, little pot, little, little, little splotches and everything like that. Absolutely gumite. Gumite's a hodgepodge of different things. It's not really a particular individual or it's a hodgepodge of different ones. It's quite a nice little, little piece you have going on right there. Um, you're taking some significant precautions, let me tell you. But then again, you, you can't be, you can't be too cautious when dealing with anything that's that's hazardous, you know. Um, as for getting uranium in your bloodstream, too late. You already have it in your bloodstream. Uh, each uh, person eats about 400 micrograms of it a year, plus or minus. I have to figure out where I got that quote from. I think it's the CDC. But anyway, a little tiny bit of it, but it's, it's nothing much. But you're smart to avoid the dust, and you're actually smart to keep it from getting inside of you because uranium is both radioactive, but it's also chemically toxic, too. Think of it like lead, but radioactive. So it's both. But anyhow, um, I'm going to be producing a, a video. I, I'm, I'm actually working on it right this moment uh, on basically on care and feeding of how to own a uranium collection. Because I have a little uranium collection. Nothing like BioNerd23, who probably could make a museum feel insecure by comparison. But I have a pretty decent little collection. I want to put out like a video on it and what to do with it. Um, this makes like the fourth video that I'm currently working on right this moment that I'm going to be producing. So hopefully I can actually get one of these out sometime this weekend. But um, I'll have some of my better samples in it, like uh, my Meta Torbernite sample right here. Let me see if I can put the, this up to where the camera can see it. Look at that. Nice. And it's not showing the color right, it's very green. And if you put the um, you put the inspector near it, down fast. If you look at gamma, almost nothing. Even on the polymaster. The polymaster is a cesium iodide scintillation counter, so it's about as accurate as you can get. No, it's not as accurate as you can get, but it's pretty accurate. Half a microsievert per hour. Climbing. Put my finger over that. Not too bad. But you move it away. And it drops fast. But anyhow, so, um, welcome to the club, good sir. Welcome to the Uranium Club. This has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and, um, bye-bye.